Hello, Teak Nation, and welcome in to the weekly CEO COVID-19 update. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I want to start on a somber note. Uh, unfortunately, we are continuing to learn of frauders who have passed away from the COVID-19 virus and want to send the warmest wishes, condolences, thoughts to the family and friends, fr chapter brothers of, of our members who have passed away. And I know that there are many more who are continuing to battle this virus and have family members who are battling this virus. And just want you to know that you're in our thoughts as we, we move through this time. Also know that there's a number of collegiate members out there that have had you know their year completely upended and, and seniors that aren't getting opportunities and memories that they had looked their entire collegiate career for. And we want you to know that we're still thinking of you. We're working hard here uh, in Indianapolis and, and around the U.S. with our, our professional staffers that are spread throughout the U.S. Uh, to, to help to be providing some memories and positive memories and things that we can do as we get into May. I'd be happy to highlight and showcase some more of those, but we are thinking of you and understand uh, this challenging moment that you're in and want to be here and provide service. Uh, in transitioning to something on a very positive note, I want to wish all of you a very happy Easter. Hope that you're getting to share that with at least family, have a little bit of fellowship, uh, a chance to smile and engage during this during this uh, holy week. And, and no matter what faith you have, uh, that you are having a, a happy holiday weekend. Want to give you some quick updates here, as I do each week, on what's happened in the fraternity this week. A lot of great things that are still going on, guys who are pushing, moving the teak spirit forward. So with that, I want to start with the growth team and a couple of our new groups, one Beta Gamma at Oklahoma State, as well as Mu Alpha, which is a group at Westchester University in Pennsylvania. Uh, they've both been working on education, recruitment, and planning for the summer and fall. Zoom has been helpful for them as well as it has for many groups. They've been sharing ideas about overcoming distance and separation, uh, taking ideas from meetings and conversations, not just to do great TEAK activities virtually uh, and, and leadership and growth and education on, on the heritage of the organization, but also uh, having personal connections and having personal conversations just to keep, keep their spirits in a great place and keep them focused for the, the tremendous future that we have ahead. Mu Alpha at Westchester has elected a full officer board. Congratulations. And continuing their education process online. Uh, they created an outline that they're following through that process to stay focused and to stay motivated. So great work there. Victor Casanova on our expansion team has made them aware of various online resources they're putting out for the benefit uh, of all members. And, and I wanna direct you to that. A couple things first, to our YouTube channel where we are housing all the videos that we're putting forward. A lot of content coming daily uh, and through the week being put out there, pushed forward by our team, as well as teak.org slash coronavirus. That's the hub, that's the homepage where you can go and see many, many things, both some of these videos I'm speaking about, as well as virtual office hours that are being had, ways you can contact our team and, and schedule uh, a Zoom meeting you might wanna have or bring in our guys into some of that new member education, or maybe just talking about an officer retreat, or you just wanna talk about life and how you're continuing to, to take on the challenges of this pandemic and this quarantine in our new reality. We are here for you, here to serve and here to work. Uh, and you guys are allowing to make that happen you know, through through the time and energy, but also the financial piece and, and the financial, you know, update that I have for you, new chapter, they've done a great job paying off their entire bill. Thank you to the guys at Cal Berkeley, Texas Tech. They've made big dents from past debts they've had to get towards a zero balance. Delta Chi, they made a $3,000 payment this week. You know, I touch on that, not because, you know, you hear at times, you guys, all you're all about money. We're not. <laughs> We're about serving you. Those dollars, though, they allow us to serve you. They allow us to take those resources and turn them and invest them right back into you and put us in the strongest position. We come through this pandemic to be ahead in the Greek world, to be leaders in the Greek world. This is an opportunity for us right now that we have if we're prepared in every single aspect from the resources we need to the team and the talent, to getting more volunteers, to getting more uh, alumni support in every single aspect, you know, time, talent, treasure, we can be in a position to come out of this in the strongest position possible and be a leader. And that's what we always we always strive to be. It's what our founders wanted us to be. And I know that we have it in us. So I appreciate the support in every single aspect that all of you are, are showcasing and highlighting and investing in us. Online education, I, I touched on that. Want to share, want you to be a part of the the month of April. Our, our education team is producing weekly. They are producing member education videos, not just new member education videos, member education videos. And they're releasing two a week. 
Really proud of the work they're doing. Hope that you will engage with that, whether you're 18, whether you're 108. Uh, some great guests that we have lined up. PGP Mark Romick, uh, Venerable Grand Preakness Jim Hickey, another member of the Grand Council Rob Guarini, Nick Kimball and Zach Scott, a couple of our growth leaders, guys focused and love recruitment to talk about how can we get more people into our Teak family, how can we get more people fired up and have the skills we need to be prepared to come out and absolutely crush it on the other end of this quarantine. So excited to have them be a part of the the, the member education series. Another piece, have a little, uh, you know, something outside of just the leadership realm 101, Brian Duffy, celebrity chef, Teak member that we initiated a couple couple conclaves ago. That guy is actually going to put on, he's going to get on a webinar with Alex Swenson to talk about home cooking and how you can improve that skill set. I know I need that during this quarantine. So excited to share some other aspects outside of just Leadership 101. We know this is a social fraternity and it's also about life skills to make you better. So excited to share Frauder Duffy and his thoughts. As we keep moving down the line here, uh, candidate e-compliance, we're, we're pushing along in that. I think we're in the mid 80%. So please, candidates, go complete that e-compliance. It takes about 15 minutes or so, and it's critical. It's critical that we all understand the risk procedures and the guidelines of the fraternity. It, it's critical for us to know it so we can put the fraternity in the strongest position to keep your chapter open and operational, to ensure your alumni have a, a group home base to come back to and engage with. Uh, but also to make sure we're treating those on our campus and in our communities in the best possible way. And so we appreciate you engaging in that. Collegiate members, we are at about 97% completion. We've got a little bit of work to do. So if you know some of those guys who have not completed that e-compliance that e for our collegiate members, please, 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 please take advantage, knock that out, edu.tk.org. And if you're a volunteer watching this, encourage and push your guys to get that completed. It is only for the benefit of the organization and ensuring we're all on the same page and knowing our guidelines and procedures. All right, let's roll into chapter updates. I'm going to work to be as efficient as possible with your time. Delta Phi at St. Francis, they put one of their newest members in charge of their philanthropy. He's reached out to the entire campus to help support the Polar Plunge, which is something they've done for 12 years and are still working to make sure that happens. Santos on our team had a, a stellar conversation uh, with Jake, U, uh, University of Central Florida, their current pregnancy about how to welcome in new men via, via Zoom and recognize that they're now considered initiates of the chapter. He's excited about the opportunity to give these men some recognition and in, in, include their entire brotherhood, even though they're not on campus. So excited to see the work that's being done down there in Central Florida. Santos also had a great call uh, with UC Boulder. So working with guys down in Florida, working with guys out in in Colorado. Uh, I know that also Greg and Greg Roscoff and Joey Crisuanos on our, our risk team also participating in that, uh, talking about how to handle this time away from campus. Uh, they actually are in a great place where they have some extra dollars, some extra resources, so how they can put those into best practice and be prepared and tactics for utilizing social media in the best way. So thank you for the guys in Florida and, and Colorado for their work. Two new uh, province advisors have been re-engaged in the, Mo the Morin province up in the northeast. Guys who are from Alpha Nu, Cooper Hett, and Ian Kelly. So thank you for, guys for getting re-engaged. They're focused on completing their online AVA as well as seeing how they can help during these trying times. And so uh, when I say online AVA, that's the Online Alumni Volunteer Academy. We've got a, a series of five videos there. The Grand Council gave us a goal this year of getting 337 people to complete the online AVA. Proud to share, you all have done a tremendous job and we have hit that goal of 337 members to complete that, so thank you. There's other members that weren't necessarily GPAs or PAs or high level uh, volunteers, they were engaged in other ways, who said, you know what, I'm still gonna go in there and do the online training. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for, for looking to make yourself better, grow your skill set to help engage and improve the fraternity. We appreciate it. New Zai, uh, they're reforming their membership retention program and are finalizing a document to hold members more accountable. This is going to incentivize more engagement from the chapter. Great work during this time to take advantage of that thought process and, and how we can engage and ensure people are getting the most value out of the fraternity, but also that they are contributing. Just like we, when we make our promises at the altar to develop our abilities and contribute them. LSU, done a great job in connecting with St. Jude to host a virtual online fundraiser, just like our our men at Virginia Tech, Zy Omega. Zy Omega, number I had seen yesterday, was $154,000 they raised online for St. Jude. So congratulations, great work. Uh, I, I know you all are being champions of the, the children of St. Jude and also 
evaluating how you continue to be helpful and contribute and working with the Teak Foundation. So we're grateful for all the, the hard work that you're doing. Kai Chapter, this is a, this is a story to, to share. Um, Kai Chapter is our group at the University of Washington. We actually had members who tested positive for COVID-19 living in the house. They quarantined. Uh, they, they went through the process to make sure they got back to good health. Happy to report all of those guys are healthy. And so now these guys, these 28 men who quarantined in the house, now not all 28 had COVID-19, but they all then quarantined so that they weren't spreading the virus. Uh, they're now planning to donate plasma and doing whatever they can in the community to help get us through this pandemic. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for living the values of attorney. Thank you for being champions of everything we strive to be and being leaders in first getting yourselves healthy, but now going out and seeing how you can be helpful in, in battling back this virus and getting people in a position where we can eventually physically be together again. Thank you so much. Uh, they're continuing to talk and chat with high school seniors now about recruitment and getting people to join the chapter. So recruitment never stops and, and love to see them out selling selling our great organization. Our expansion team talked about a, a pre-visit that's been planned, planned at George Mason as well as Ohio University looking to get on the slate to go and expand to those campus, grow the teak, the teak flame. Uh, moving up to Canada, Kappa Chi at Concordia University up in Montreal. Uh, they've had mo multiple conversations recently about their identity and their culture, looking to turn a page, have a better understanding of what fraternity really is and means and how it can impact their members. Great to hear that. As well as Riley Gamil from Upsilon Ada University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Wrapped up the semester, but decided to keep doing some good on his own. He put together a COVID-19 fundraiser to help his community, and for $100 donations, he's planning to shave his head. Uh, obviously, you hear about uh, men and uh, folks from around the country who are, including Canada, around the world, who are donating large amounts of money. This is something small that he's doing for these $100 donations to shave his head, but it shows the great impact that you can have. I'm really proud of, of Riley and how he's representing Talk Up Epsilon. Sigma, Sigma Cap at Merrimack College, 50 plus have attended Zoom chapter meetings in the last two weeks. 13 men finishing up their new member education via Zoom. Uh, worked hard to plan their first ever St. Jude week, which now has been moved to online. The Preetness, uh, Donnie Anesthesi reached out to Virginia Tech Philanthropy again to, to brainstorm ideas. Glad we're doing some peer-to-peer -peer interaction. Frutters have volunteered to shave their heads on a live stream as we approach different milestones in fundraising. So at 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 guys shaving their heads putting themselves in that same position, so, showing some empathy for the children at St. Jude that, that unfortunately are losing their hair as they battle cancer. Uh, and they're planning to hold an online No More Cancer rally. They raised $600 in their first day of online fundraising. Chapter is going to be participating in an online video game tournament with another fraternity on campus, so that's a great fun thing to do, as well as they have held an online BOA meeting last week with Zoom. So thank you for the work there. Tall Theta FDU Madison. Last week, I, I shared they were going to have a new member ed meeting. They had that this week. I was lucky enough to be a part of it with four other professional staffers talking about a, a variety of ideas and topics, getting those guys fired up. Uh, really enjoyed it. Thank you for the invitation. They're in the middle of their St. Jude fundraiser. Goal is $2,500. they have already raised $2,100. So great work. Apollo Province. They had a productive Zoom meeting. Full representation from every chapter in the Apollo province, which is down in Florida, uh, as well as several BOA members and chapter advisors in attendance. Edwin Robinson, big shout out, did a great job moving through an agenda and, and working how to adapt in the current time and utilize staff and volunteers along the way. Some quick alumni updates. Delta where, Del, Delaware alumni, excuse me, uh, taking steps to charter their alumni association. Clarkson alumnus actively working towards chartering their alumni association and soliciting names of interested frauders. So, if you're an uh, alumnus of Clarkson watching this, please reach out to our team, Chris Niles, cniles.teak.org. He can get you connected if you want to be part of an alumni association brewing. Uh, a lot of pieces that are coming up in terms of seniors, I highlighted that at the beginning because we know you've lost out on so many memories. We're working on some senior town halls, giving you some professional development skills, uh, having, having panels. We've had the discussion about panels and getting some of our successful men who can talk about things you need to prepare for because it is going to be a much different job market than we all thought we were entering, you thought you were entering uh, just a few weeks ago. So uh, we're also working on the possibility of fraternity for life and how we can provide that ceremony and be helpful in that ceremony and do it in a protective way, but in a way uh, that can still be beneficial to you and, and you can celebrate uh, the fourth and final secret of the fraternity. Uh, there is a video that is scheduled for this next Wednesday to come out for Frater Chris Niles and, and engaging with our alumni. So please be on the lookout for that. And you should be getting... 
uh, an update soon on the in-person Alumni Volunteer Academy. Uh, no matter what, when it comes to Alumni Volunteer Academy, the TK Leadership Academy, if for any reason we cannot have those events in person, we're going to find ways to virtually produce for you. We're going to find ways to virtually impact and be helpful, produce content. I want to thank you for being a part of these videos. I know uh, 10 to 12 to 15 minute videos take time to, to stay engaged and a part of. But I, I think it is critical to continue to highlight all the good stuff that's going on out there and the ways that you are all working together and coming together to get us through this. We are going to get through this. We're going to be stronger through this because we have tremendous people. We have tremendous leaders that are supporting us and getting more people involved and engaged. Time, talent, and treasure is going to be mission critical for us to be able to advance the mission of the fraternity to aid men in their mental, moral, and social development for life. Thank you for tuning in this week. Hope you're having a great Easter holiday, and I look forward to checking in with you next week. Frauders, I love the fraternity.